Artesia, Cerritos, Hawaiian Gardens, and Lakewood. The ABC Unite Show with your host, Jim Keating, bringing you good times from around the ABC Unified School District. Here is your host, Jim Keating. I'd like to welcome everyone to the sixth season of the Unite Show. Can you believe it? I know I can. It seems like time has flown by. Uh, one of the best ways to kind of check out the show is if you go to YouTube. We have our own channel there. It's all one word, The Unite Show. And you can watch past episodes and upcoming episodes. Wait, what? There. So, uh, you know, the whole point of the show is a chance for us the ABC Unified School District to promote the great things that are going on here, whether that be in the classroom or with students or with auxiliary staff, administrators all over the district. We're really looking to kind of promote the great things that are going on in and around the district. So uh, I am your host, Jim Keating, as I have been for the last number of years. And uh, we did uh, bid fair do fair do, I think I meant adieu and farewell to uh, Alan Hallback, our musical director for many, uh, many, many years. <clears throat> but we have a brand new musical director and he's here with us tonight, Rhino Weston. Jim. And uh, it's good to see you, sir. It's, a, it's good to be here. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. And you had a chance to bring your band, I think Diversity was yeah. the band that you were on with and played some music and now you're here in the regular fold. The, uh, the Unite Show band is still kind of getting together, so the next uh, episode we have, we should see the band in full effect. Absolutely, we will. We'll be looking forward to that. Well, you know, the holiday seasons are upon us here, and uh, you come from a big family, right? Yeah, we had a, we had a big Thanksgiving this year. We had, we had over 30 people in our family, 30 mm -hmm. members of our family, three turkeys, ham, beef brisket and all the things that go with it. Oh, mercy, mercy. It was a lot of food. Uh, sounds like it. And, uh, you know, uh, heading into December, we got Christmas knocking on the door here. There's so many uh, traditions that yeah. go on with that. You guys, uh, do you have any kind of uh, specific or particular family traditions? Well, we have a, our family, we're a family of service, so we have a, a what we call a family cook-off. Oh, boy. Where we cook certain meals uh -huh. and those meals are judged by the other family members oh. and the key to this is every meal has to be named after something that my mother said or my father said. oh i like it yeah i like it now do you get in on this too oh definitely oh, what's, what, what's one of your favorite dishes my, you one of my favorites past? is mama's famous uh her famous monkey bread. Nice. And 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 the monkey bread is so it's made out of pure butter, <laughs> and it just man it just makes you melt and float to the sky. Sounds like it, making me yeah, hungry absolutely. already. We got a lot of food on the show, so yeah, we have some good food. Absolutely, looking forward to some of those things. But you know, uh, to get to get into what we're talking about, um, we got a little game here to play. It's an anagram game. An anagram is kind of where you take a word. Mm -hmm or a phrase and then you switch the letters around and it makes something new. So, you know, Dr. Sprig, kind of our producer, thought it'd be fun to kind of throw up some anagrams and of course uh, with it being the opening show of the season, Dr. Gary Smuts is always uh, a guest and he's going to be here via uh, video in a little bit. but. I think uh, Dr. Sprig wanted to give us kind of some holiday anagrams and so they're going to be related to the show. An anagram is a word or phrase formed by reordering the letters of another word or phrase. So for those of you who don't know, so if you got a word like art, the anagram might be tar, rat. This game is called Holiday Anagrams because the names of the Unite Show staff, that's us, are the root words for the anagrams. So this is going to test some of my abilities, things that might be said around the holly, uh, holly, uh, holiday dinner table. So I think what I have to do is when the anagram comes up, mm -hmm. I have to use it in a holiday themed conversation. We'll see how well I can do. I just don't know if you're ready and I am boom let's begin the 2010 holiday anagrams sounds like a plan first one Jim Keating 
I can get jam. I remember when <laughs> I was visiting some relatives down south and you know, it was it was Christmas morning. I right. came out and I, you know, I saw that Santa had left some some uh, presents for me, and I had my toast all laid out. And my little cousin was so hungry. I said, "Oh, cousin, cousin Billy, go get the 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 the, the stuff for us." And he said, "I can get jam." <laughs> you can get jam. <laughs> and that's what he told me. That's what he told you. Yeah, well, you know, oh Gary Smuts, all right, Gary the Smuts. superintendent of the ABC Unified School District. Let's see what we have. Gary Smuts, we have. As gums try. Well, you know, my, my grandma, my grams, gums, we used to call her because she had no, no gums. Teeth. She had no teeth. Yeah, and you know, sometimes it was always funny. I had to say it, but, you know, it, we were kind of, we were cruel to, to grams sometimes mm -hmm. because we would ask her to open up the presents and, she, you know, she had the rheumatoid arthritis and her hands just, they were not what they would be at the best. So it was, you know, uh, let, let's let grams open. The present. Let's let, let's let old gums get it open, and it was like, well, as gums tried, she couldn't get she that couldn't thing get open. It. The paper. And Forty-five minutes later, it was sad. Okay, so Dr. Gary Smuts, we're gonna change it up a little bit. What do we have here? Sad rug, Dr. Sty. Yeah, I'll tell you. One year we had a giant Christmas party at my house, mm. and people were enjoying themselves and. You know, uh, sometimes when, when, when people are coming in and out and, and the food gets spilled and, you know, we had a, a guest there, Dr. Stye was there, and, uh, well, he, he was enjoying himself too much, spilled a big plate of Christmas ham all over in the sad rug, Dr. Stye, it was, it was, it was ruined. Wow. I know. I know that guy. Yeah, me too. Right I wonder what he's going to do. Maybe I'll Let's try to get this Let's find out what, we can, what anagram we can get here. Try Noel, Snow. You know, that makes me think uh, back to that cousin you have. That cousin from Minnesota? Yeah. Sally Snow? Sally Snow. Yeah. Now, I mean, she was a good singer, right? Absolutely. Yeah, she would come and she was like, Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer. And then that one time you're like, Try Noel. That's right. No. No way, no way, no Just like that, huh? Just like I that. Know. Look the at United that. Show. The United Show. The Show, as you can see, I am clearly knocking these out of the park. Uh, let's see what we get with the United Show. The Wish Unto. And I think that's what it comes down to. The Wish Unto You, home viewers is that you will have a year of prosperity and peace and joy and jam. We do have a great show ahead of us today. We have three sets of representatives for the new magnet schools in the, in the district. We've got representatives from Aloha and from Tetzloff and from Nixon as well as Maureen Conklin from Nutrition Services. She's here with a cooking demonstration. We have a couple of uh, wonderful performers from Whitman Elementary School, some sisters to perform from us, and then two fantastic singers from Ross Middle School, my home school. They will be singing some, some holiday type music for us, so I cannot wait. We have got so many good things ahead of us. Ladies and gentlemen, enjoy.